there's something that's going on in between here. Um, and I did a little, I worked a little bit out earlier, uh, just to sim sometimes I go look a few steps ahead to see if I'm on the right path. So um, we could do that now. Um, so I like this form, control C, V, and then we're gonna just kind of uh, figure it out. I think we want the muscle to connect from the palm up to the index finger, base of the index finger. So, this is a weird position to work from. Um, I probably should just make it more, let me, let me do that. Control A. Z, where's the front, front, top, how'd that get to be the top, we don't want, we want, okay, so, yeah, it's, it's getting a little confusing, so let's, whoa, all right, global, all right, that's the top, we don't want that to be the front, probably that the front, right? Front, right, top. I don't know if that's going to help us or not. Um, Probably, yeah, I didn't, it's still in a weird position where I'm not used to oriented, the way it's oriented. Mm. Let's see. There's a way to get this to really work. Like this form kind of works here. So this form should be more on the inside. Um, Maybe if I change the dimension of it a little bit. Uh, okay, so there's something there we can work with, but we need to add more information, I think. And some of it has to do with um, maybe the fingers are working okay. Um, maybe we could live with that. Uh, but I think he's got the bones sometimes, the bones in the back of the hand showing. Definitely sometimes the tendons do. Here's the transverse arch. I didn't talk about that earlier. This is just silly to me. Proportions are beautiful form of the thumb we'll come back to that for that reason you know I love the way he thinks about that um, but he's got you can see the tendons here that go over the bones so we'll get something like that in in place uh, maybe we look at that now let's see
show all. He consistently sculpts the right hand, it seems. That's so that's why we'll sculpt it. And then when we're done, we'll, we'll turn it into a left hand. And I'll show you why that's important. Top, front. This is still hard for me to. Maybe you want that to be the front. Okay, so I'll probably move those fingers around again. Um, so maybe we're just repeating this form right here. So um, take this one. Control C, V, um, probably scale it up, Let's put it in place a little bit here. I think I might like to add a sphere for the back of the wrist where everything all the tendons come to that place they kind of move all towards that same place and then you have a form here so maybe maybe it's good to add that form first yeah i'm struggling with the orientation sometimes i i do uh, for something like this, it's um, I'm not sure what the right. I think it's just there's nothing you could do about it. Uh, so that kind of helps right there. I think um, maybe it should be a narrow form like that. Then over here we'd have some wrist, we'd have some uh, bones from the uh, the ulna, the radius on the other side. Um, let's see, we want this to be thinner because it's more. We're really thinking about a form that's on the back of the hand. So uh, let's see if we could do that. Yeah, probably bring that up a little bit. Okay, so it's not horrible. Um, let's see what we can do about that. I'm going to lock on it so that I don't lose it. I'm making it a longer form. Um, maybe it doesn't need to be that long.
Okay, so let's we'll copy that. Put it over. This is probably something we should have done with the fingers. Um, it might have been easier at that level, but that's not a problem right now. So. Sorry I'm not talking. Um, I think you see what I'm doing though. Alright, so let's do one more of these over here. Oh, um, I don't like whatever I did. Okay, so um, this is kind of important, I think. This does give you a sense of structure, and it's important that these are straight. This is a good way to sculpt it, regardless of what, however you sculpt the hand. Um, I've seen online people do hands, and they'll sculpt this part. and this part is like noodles it just curves all over the place it's like you know that can't be right just look at the back of your hand those tendons are cables they're straight cables they're not necessarily they're not noodles okay and they're also going over bone so if you're able to see the bone the bone is not a noodle either so these are forms that give you structure and once you make them into curvaceous noodles you've, lo you've lost your structure uh, so this part has to be unyielding in terms of its uh, straightness if you can get it that way so and this is an easier way to get to it than uh, any other method for sculpting digitally I'll tell you that so but yeah for some reason and this all these this probably doesn't need to be up as much. Um, let's try to move this around a little bit. So it just looks a little, that's not too bad. <laughs> 